like mine with a kiss. Boiled or fried, I'm satisfied just as long as I get my kiss. <sighs> How do you like your toast in the morning? I like mine with a hug. <clears throat> This is the Uhans i8. It's a new bezel-less smartphone, solidly within the budget range at only $130. And as you can see, it's got a pretty cool design to it. Uh, it comes just in black, actually. But it's got a sleek design and quite solid build, too. Feels a little bit heavy as well. I would say the only disadvantage about this sort of shiny texture here is that it does attract a lot of fingerprints and other sorts of marks. Speaking of fingerprints, Uhans has placed the fingerprint scanner on the back, which I found to be pretty responsive. On the front, there are no physical buttons to save more space for the screen, which is where you'll find the back, home and menu keys. The 5.7 inch 18 by 9 display looks pretty nice, but could do with an upgrade to full HD rather than just 720p. In what might be a disappointment to many of you, they have not included a 3.5mm audio jack on the Uhans i8. Instead, they've included this USB-C to audio jack adapter to use with your wired headphones. The Uhans i8 has a MediaTek 6750T processor, a Mali T860 GPU, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, although this is also extendable with an SD card. On the Antutu benchmark tests, the i8 only managed to score 42,000. Though, despite this not very spectacular score, I found that there wasn't much lag when playing video games on it. Although, you won't be able to keep a very high frame rate if you have other programs running at the same time. There's an 8 megapixel front camera, and the camera app on the phone already has some beauty features built into it if you're into that sort of thing. And then on the back of the phone, you have a 16 megapixel and a 3 megapixel dual rear camera. Although the performance on these cameras is just so so. You can see here from the pictures that it can take some pretty good shots, but nothing that impressive. If you're looking for a budget phone that has a really decent camera, then I can recommend something like the Xiaomi Mi A1. But again, almost no phones at this sort of price point can you expect a real flagship level of quality in your photos. The battery on the i8, which is 3,500 milliamp hours in capacity, has about three days worth on standby, but if you're using it regularly, then it'll last for about a day. I also found that the Super Screenshot app built into the phone was a pretty handy feature if you want a quick and easy way to record what you do on your phone. Well, if you'd like to go ahead and buy the Uhans i8, then just check out the link in the description. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. My love in the AM. It doesn't mean the PM. Oh, the rest of my day is positively ma'am. I'm a regular monster. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine.